so hello guys in this video we are going to do this problem which was from USA PHO 2019 the question number is B3 uh, I'll put the, I'll put the link to the paper in the description you can check it out yourself too and yeah so let's get into the question okay so in the question it said that a bead is placed on a horizontal rein along which it can slide frictionlessly it is attached to the end of a rigid massless rod of length r a ball is attached to the other end both the bead and the ball have a mass n the system is initially stationary with the ball directly above the bead and the ball is given an infinitesimal push parallel to the rail okay and we have to assume that the rod and the ball are designed in such a way that so uh, they can pass through the rail without hitting it and uh, the rail only constrains the motion of the bead and two subsequent states are given and we have to find uh, in part a and part b we have to find the expression of force in the rod whether it's uh, whether it's tensile or compressive and uh, uh, we have to find the expression for them and in part c we have to find the omega or uh, the rate of change of angle uh, at any as a function of theta okay so first of all uh, what I did was let's assume a, a general position theta. First of all, I will solve part C, and it will for, uh, it will help in part A and B because I will solve them algebraically. Of course, there will be an inter intuitive solution for part A and B, but uh, I I like the algebraic one more because it is much more straightforward and uh, easy to do. Suppose. Okay, so in this first thing we have to observe is that there is no force in the x direction or no force uh, on the system in the horizontal direction so the center of mass of the two beads which is marked as c here uh, will, will only move in the uh, along the vertical axis along the vertical line it won't uh, move any anywhere horizontally because there is no force in the horizontal direction at all so uh, we can exploit this for sure so and uh, for calculating omega at a general point let's say uh, it's the rod is making an angle theta with the vertical as shown in the figure and the uh, bead is moving with a speed v along the rails and uh, uh, we have to find omega at this, this point so uh, when uh, so first of all if you observe with uh, with respect to point a or with respect to the b the velocity of center of mass can be shown in two parts as a v in along this direction and an omega r by 2 perpendicular to the rod right and the uh, as the center of mass has no velocity in the horizontal direction so these two velocities must cancel in the horizontal direction and the vertical uh, component must equal its velocity in the vertical direction so first first of all what we can get from here is uh, and uh, this angle here is theta so what we can get here is v equals to omega r by 2 cos theta okay so this is the first equation we can get then now by uh, now uh, similarly for uh, the ball the ball velocities can also be distributed in two directions as v and omega r right so um, the ball's velocities will be uh, omega r uh, this this angle will be here theta omega r cos theta and in the my uh, in this direction it's v uh, so it's omega r cos theta minus v and here will be omega r sin theta right so now uh, we can conserve energy up till this point right because there is uh, no dissipative force and no work will be done and uh, so conserving energy we get that uh, mg times r times 1 minus cos theta uh, this is the decrease in potential energy of the ball will be equal to half m v square plus half m into uh, it will be omega r 
साइन थीटा स्क्वाड प्लस ओमेगा आर कॉस थीटा माइनस बी स्क्वाड या सो नाउ एक्सपांडिंग दिस व्हाट वी गेट दैट एंड वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट वी इक्वल्स टू ओमेगा आर कॉस थीटा फ्रॉम हियर एंड सो व्हाट वी गेट इन द एंड is uh, so let's cancel m first of all so we get that 2 g r times 1 minus cos theta equals to now v square will be omega square r square cos square theta by 4 so omega square r square cos square theta by 4 plus r uh now uh, this is omega square r square sin square theta and this gives us omega r cos theta by 2 whole squared so this gives us omega square r square cos square theta by 4 plus omega square r square sin square theta right and this half also also one sorry uh, and uh, so simplifying this we get that sorry Uh, omega square r square cos square theta by 2 plus omega square r square sin square theta so from here we get omega square equals to uh, first of all we cancel r here and uh, 4g times One minus cos theta over r times one plus sine square theta. So we get the value of omega squared from here. Okay. And uh, so part C is done. Now uh, for part A and B, what we can do is first of all, uh, what we can do is we can obtain the accelerations by differentiating the position coordinates uh, or we can uh, do it intuitively but i'll do it by differentiating the position coordinates so for the ball uh, the position coordinates uh, from here we can see uh, at any uh, time will be like uh, this as let's assume this uh, axis here as the y axis and this as the x axis so what we can get from here the position coordinates of the ball b will be r equals to r by 2 sin theta comma r cos theta this can be seen easily from this diagram uh, the y coordinate of this point will be uh, sorry this length will be r cos theta and uh, this length will be r sin theta always okay so uh, we get the position coordinates now from here we can uh, differentiate it twice to get the acceleration in x and acceleration in y so what we get from here is that let's say velocity in x direction will be r by 2 times cos theta times omega and uh, so differentiate it differentiating it again we get acceleration in x as r by 2 times uh, derivative is cos theta is minus sin theta into omega square and uh, plus cos theta into alpha alpha is uh, d omega by dt yeah and uh, so this is the acceleration in x direction at any moment and similarly uh, for y direction we get that r minus r sin theta into omega and differentiating differentiating it again ay equals to ay equals to minus r into cos theta into omega omega square sorry and uh, and then uh, this there will be a minus also here and uh, then plus 
साइन थीटा इंटू अल्फा राइट या सो द एक्सलेशन वी गॉट द एक्सलेशन दिस दिस इन द एक्सलेशन एंड दिस इन द वाई डायरेक्शन राइट ओके सो नाउ Uh, we are interested in only at two positions at theta equal to pi by two and theta equal to pi. So first considering theta equals to pi, uh, theta equals to pi, and uh, observe that when theta equals to pi in this case, um, here the tension fo the force due to the rod can only be in this direction or in this direction. So we are interested only in the uh, horizontal acceleration. so that uh, we can find the tension so the ax ax in this case is uh, r by 2 times uh, this when theta equals to sorry okay, pi by 2 uh, here uh, minus omega square r by 2 minus omega square now as we calculated omega from here and uh, substituting theta equal to pi by 2 here we get that uh, at omega equals to pi by 2 omega omega at theta equals to pi by 2 this gives us omega at pi by 2 equals to uh, 4g by sorry root of 4g by 2 r which gives us 2g by r right and so from here we get that ax equals to Uh, omega squared into uh, so this gives us g minus u g so uh, minus g right so from here uh, so from here uh, at that point the tension will be equals to mg uh, and it will be a tension force we can see this from the negative sign that uh, the acceleration at this point is directed in this direction so the, it should be a tensile te, tensile force rather than and rather than a compression force and similarly uh, when when theta equals to pi we, are, we will be interested in the vertical acceleration rather than the horizontal acceleration so when theta equals to pi uh here first of all let's calculate the omega Uh, omega will be at theta equals to pi. Uh, the ex- here is the expression of omega, omega squared, and uh, so when theta equals to pi, cos theta equal to zero. Cos theta equal to zero. minus one. Sorry. Uh, so it's oh eight g over eight g by r, root of eight g by r. Right, and uh, the acceleration in y direction. Can be written as, and uh, here it will be r into omega square a g by r into cos of theta one. So this gives us the acceleration in y direction equals to eight g. So this is directed upwards at as it's positive. So and uh, so it will be like this. so and uh, what we can get is uh tension minus mg equals to mavy so from here the tension will be 9 mg so the final answer is for the first part it is tension equals to mg for the second part the tension equals to 9 mg and for the third part third part which is uh, we need to find the omega it is this oh sorry i'll write the it in terms of omega and uh, yeah so this is the final answer uh there of course there can be uh, many different ways to solve part a and b but uh, i found this the most straightforward way and the most easiest way so yeah thank you for watching